Climate change is reshaping our world in profound ways. And in Norway, it is unveiling a hidden treasure trove of history. As glaciers melt at an alarming rate, they have revealed over 4,500 artifacts, many of them discovered in the past 12 months. These discoveries, primarily coming from the Landbreen Ice Patch in the Jotunheim Mountains, offer unprecedented insights into ancient human activities. However, the same environmental changes that expose these artifacts also threaten their survival, creating a race against time for archaeologists. Since 2011, the Glacier Archaeology Program, known as Secrets of Ice, has uncovered over 4,500 artifacts from Norway's melting glaciers, representing more than half of the world's glacial archaeology finds. The 2024 to 2025 field seasons have been particularly fruitful due to accelerated ice melt. Here are some key discoveries. A 1,300-year-old arrow found on Landbreen in 2024, a 1,500-year-old arrow with preserved fletching from Storgobirn, and a 3,000-year-old arrow from the Late Stone Age or Early Bronze Age. These arrows, often used by reindeer hunters, indicate significant hunting activity. In 2025, archaeologists found the second of a pair of skis at Digavarden, central Norway, dated to 1,300 years ago. These skis made of birch and pine with intact bindings are the best preserved prehistoric skis in the world. A 1,700-year-old horseshoe, a medieval horseshoe, an ancient mitten, and a whisk-like wooden tool. About 50 small, mysterious wooden objects, some of the Viking Age or even older, and a leather or hide fragment possibly part of a shoe, all found at Landbreen in 2024. Arrowheads with tips made from river mussels, such as long-distance trade networks, highlighting the connectivity of ancient societies going out from humans in Norway. The Landbreen ice patch in the Jotunheim Mountains has been a focal point for discoveries. Historically used as a travel route during the Viking and medieval areas, around 1000 AD, other significant sites include Stog of Bren and Degger Warden in central Norway. These high altitude locations, once thought inhospitable, reveal extensive human activity, including hunting and trade. These artifacts provide a vivid picture of ancient Norwegian societies. The abundance of arrows suggests reindeer hunting was a major activity, described as almost like an industry during the Iron and Medieval Ages. Finds from the late antique Little Ice Age, around 535 to 660 Common Era, indicate intensified hunting during colder periods, reflecting climate adaptation. Artifacts like arrowheads with river muscle tips point to long distance trade, connecting mountain communities with coastal or riverine regions. Items like the prehistoric skis and horse snowshoes reveal advanced transportation methods. The skis used for winter travel highlight how humans navigated challenging environments a testament to their ingenuity, while textiles and tools like the whisk-like objects offer insights into clothing and food preparation. Norway's glaciers are retreating rapidly due to global warming. In 2024, recorded as Europe's warmest year by the EU's Copernicus system, glaciers melted by an average of 1.8 meters. This accelerated melting has exposed artifacts preserved in ice for centuries or millennia but it also poses a significant threat to their survival. Organic materials like wood, leather, and textiles are particularly vulnerable once exposed to air and sunlight. Without prompt recovery, these artifacts can decay rapidly, leading to the loss of irreplaceable historical data. The Secrets of the Ice program has emphasized the urgency of this issue, as melting glaciers reveal artifacts faster than archaeologists can retrieve them. The rapid glacier retreat underscores the broader impacts of climate change on ecosystems, water supplies, and cultural heritage. Glaciologist Eric Haas has noted that glaciers are critical for energy, agriculture, and mountain ecology, making their loss a multifaceted concern. The Secrets of the Ice program, co-led by Aspen Finstad, has been instrumental in recovering artifacts. With a nine-day field season at Landbren in 2024, yielding significant finds, However, the remote locations, vast number of artifacts, and rapid melting present logistical challenges. The program's systematic approach, supported by government funding since 2011, has made Norway a leader in glacial archaeology. But the scale of the task is daunting. Archaeologists are racing to document and preserve artifacts before they deteriorate. 
The well-preserved condition of items like the skis and arrows is due to the stable, cold environment of ice patches, which differ from moving glaciers that can crush artifacts. However, once exposed, these items require immediate attention to prevent decay. The discoveries in Norway highlight the complex interplay between climate change and archaeology. While melting glaciers provide a unique opportunity to uncover history, they also serve as a stark reminder of the environmental crisis. The Secrets of the Ice program continues to advocate for increased efforts to recover artifacts and for global action to mitigate climate change. These findings not only enrich our understanding of the past, but also underscore the urgency of protecting our planet's cultural and natural heritage. Norway's melting glaciers are revealing a wealth of artifacts that tell the story of ancient human resilience and ingenuity. From Iron Age arrows to prehistoric skis, these discoveries offer invaluable insights into history while highlighting the urgent need to address climate change. As archaeologists race to preserve those treasures, the world is reminded of the delicate balance between uncovering the past and safeguarding the future. Continued research and global cooperation are essential to ensure that these artifacts and the lessons they hold are not lost forever. If you are as fascinated by archaeological mysteries as I am, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the Ark Ark for more incredible discoveries, and leave a comment below. What other ancient artifacts do you think are still frozen in ice? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.